Okay, so we took apart this camera recorder. It's really old and something I just randomly found laying around my house. Um, we have a video of us destroying, like taking it apart essentially, which we're only probably going to show like two minutes of, maybe, if that, maybe two seconds. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> no, it's it's because it, it's not fast. Enough. Yeah, so it's at the normal pace, and then we speed it up. We're only gonna show like you find where you if this ever loads. Sometimes it doesn't load. So um, you can't really see it, but we struggled with a screw before this because it was hidden under a sticker. So. We fail. So, instead of taking pictures, we just videotaped it because we thought then it would look a little bit better. And then you had all the pictures you wanted by just screenshotting it. So, um, like I said, we had to take all picture pictures of all the components. Um, this is a quarter to show like how the size of this was. And these are just two of the buttons, and the next button will like rest right here. With, yeah, so that rested on that little downward part. It kind of fell off. And this was on the back side of the cover. Oops. Oh. This is the screen, obviously. And then it's with the mother so it didn't work. Yeah, so. This, like, was inside of it holding the lens. This is obviously the lens. Smell piece. Yeah. <laughs> Smell plate. Yeah. It was in between the motherboard and we didn't know what else to call it, so. Um, and this held the batteries inside the camera. And this was also by the metal piece, so. And this is obviously the outside of the camera. That, like, this flips up and down. Those are, like, your buttons to, like, see other pictures or videos. And, yeah. It's the right cover. So the other half. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah. It was, we think it's for like the zoom based off of, oh my god, these are terrible pictures. Um, this like sticks out a little bit so it looks like it would like go in behind the camera lens. And this is the motherboard. And this is our first one. Yeah. Drawings. And these are all drawings of all the parts besides the one that, that we chose and two others that are on the next slide because they didn't fit on this one. Um, what so, are those pieces do? These were all the pieces that we just went through. But they're drawing now. Um, and these were the covers. I drew this one upside down by accident. And backwards, because technically it's supposed to be on the other side of this. So, yeah. I've chosen this. And we had to choose two parts. So this one was Jade's. This was uh, the battery holder, which holds the batteries, of course. And this was the multi-view drawing of them that I attempted to do. This was the part that I attempted to do. Looks okay. Yeah. Looks beautiful. And this is the actual multi-view of it that we did using a printer. There are dimensions on it. Yeah. You cannot fix <laughs> type. Just can't fix the um, font size. And that's the one we before. Yeah. Um, so we did do these tests for them. Uh, it was not a conductor of electricity, yeah, as it was plastic. Um, besides the two metal pieces, but it wasn't magnetized, and the mass was 4.8. The volume was 0 0.371 inches cubed. It, density was 12.94 cubed inches cubed. Surface area was 10.659 inches squared, and it was not flexible. Could be scratched. No, it was if you looked, it said optional next to it, and I was thinking about we might put it back together, so I didn't scratch the plastic. How did those compare to what you calculated before you did it in? in Pretty better? good. I mean, we couldn't really do much with volume. volume because our pieces were so like the next one you'll really see it, but the volume it like barely changed it on like anything we used, so like we had it guesstimated as a one because. We couldn't do about anything with either a beaker, graduated cylinder, or so. Yeah, we were just going to sell somewhere. What about um, water displacement? 
that's what we use, try to use to do it. But it barely did anything. So, um, and then this was my piece. It's like in the front. And the lens goes here. So um, again, I cannot draw circles, and I found that out fast. So this is my multi view attempt. This is my attempt in this. It looks pretty good. Yeah, that's better than the drawings. Um, and then this same thing with the actual monthly view within Inventor with all the dimensions that you again can't read. Yeah. Um, so the first two tests were the same for mine with the um, electricity conductivity and the metal test because it wasn't magnetic. Um, the mass was lighter, it was 2.3, and the volume was 0 0.089, so it, you couldn't even read that on the graduating cylinders or a beaker because we tried that too. Um, and then the density was 25.84, and the sur <laughs> surface area was 6.301, and the flex of the hand flex one, it flexed it a little bit, but it went back to its shape. So when reading through this one, it said, did it like um, bend and like misform the shape after you did it? But it went back to the way it was. So yes and no. Um, so we did a little researching too. And I actually found my exact camera recorder on Amazon for sale of a total of $19.99 plus five, almost $5 in shipping. So, and these are the features that it said it had, so I thought that would be cool to add, just so you know what it actually did. And then, oops. This essentially is how the motherboards work. They're set up a little different than normal motherboards based off of um, this, how they have, it either has to be connected to a voltage or another um, transistor like it, so. Um, and then for recyclability, um, it's pretty much all plastic besides the motherboards, so it just recycles like plastic. And then the motherboards would just recycle like the computer would, so. Yeah. Any questions? <clears throat> uh, yeah, what was the diameter of the cylindrical piece on your battery holder part? Sorry. Hey, she signed out. <laughs> it was on there. No, it wasn't. It wasn't read it. Oh, well, it was on there. You just couldn't read it. Yeah, it was on there. Uh, I'd have to.